diploma and just run because your name isn't on there. <laughs> this, there is the right challenge and you will get it in your hand, but we have to write your name before you leave, okay? Uh, <laughs> for highest bid. Maybe you can show one of it, just how it looks. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the grand prize. Yeah. And, and uh, as, as we said before, it's also a really interesting thing because we have, have these kind of challenges uh, connecting to organizations is that these best, best prize winners here will be presented within these organizations that have contributed with these challenges to uh, hopefully make the way to be a reality after this hackathon. Yeah, so uh, I would like to ask the jury members of Schutzgruppen up. And you will speak in the microphone and then you pass up here. <laughs> so, uh, could you get together here? Yeah. And uh, then I would like if you have a motivation, you read that first and uh, then you tell the winner and then the rest of the jury can uh, take something about it as well, if you want. Okay. So, the motivation for the winners of the Husgruppen Challenge um, is for providing a working prototype with the Husgruppen ride-sharing functionalities, uh, as well as adding relevant new concepts uh, focusing on shorter trips and visualizing environmental benefits with humor and saved penguins. Soft house! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have a picture as one of you as well. We're going to have a picture here, I think. Uh, hello. Hello. A picture, of, I think. You can have with a... <laughs> yeah. Get, move in there. <laughs> we will take some photos more after this as well. Yeah. So uh, the jury has something to say after this as well. Is it Panilla or? There's uh, still. Yes. We also have an honorable mention <laughs> to the 10 pack abs for great visualization, visual representation of the Husgruppen spirit. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. <laughs> so the next challenge I want the jury up here is the Naka wall greens green walls and roofs. Sorry <laughs> about that. Magnus. Thank you. So my jury. You should do the same, you say the motivation first, and then we get the winners up here, and then right. we, if you have something more yeah. to say. So the mo motivation for the winning team is as follows. A very well thought out combination of solutions, providing both a realistic approach as well as providing visionary ideas. Um, however, there were hints about interesting digital solutions that we would also like to see more of. But nevertheless, the winner is Green++. Plus Plus. Please come up on stage. You must, you must take hands with the jury here. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> good done. Good work. Good work. Yeah, good work. Good work. Some photos as well, I think.
Yeah, that's a that's a professional in work, I think. Yeah. There, yeah. Uh, so, what? Who wants to say something more? Is it? Is are you done? What? We had three very different uh, approaches to the NACA challenge, and when we were, were looking at them, we would like to bring all the teams together and, and develop the uh, different ideas further. So it was very interesting approaches for, from all three yeah. teams. We can just continue 24 hours uh, after this as well, so just stay, stay ahead. So uh, the third is the Stockholm Digital Care. And Emma and your jury, could you come up here? So, for providing what we believe is the most efficient solution for reducing fuel consumption, uh, it's a solution which we see is technically possible to implement, it's scalable, and also has potential for improvements with, by utilizing alternative fuel so solutions. We believe that drive care. Thank you. Good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, then you get over here. So you have a better light. Thank you. And I think I think Emma will say some last words. We would like to make an honorable mention as well, and that is for Nom Nom. Because Woo! we see that Nom Nom has a truly inspiring concept, which is not only for the elderly, but for the community in general and also where the elderly could be a provider of food, not only a receiver. Uh, we think that you are ready to go tomorrow with the solution. Yeah. And also, final, there was a great diversity in the solutions here. So our suggestion would be that we all come together and take all your suggestions into one even greater solution. Thank you. Great. Yes, and then we have one final, and then that diploma uh, guy, I should maybe Swift uh, when he, he's reading this. <laughs> and, but the rest of the year as well, up here. Should I take those, or yeah, is it okay? Can you hold this as in the Or maybe, yeah, it's Yanni, sorry. It's Yanni. Yanni is my boss, so it's, it, it wasn't so good <laughs> doing that. Yanni is representing Sveko here. Yeah, thanks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, this was not an easy job for us, believe me. We really took our time, and I don't know if you saw, but we were the last ones to enter a room here. We were thinking into the last minute. But for an innovative way of collecting data in a cost-efficient way, helping the city to build a up a valuable database of air quality data using existing infrastructure. This is also an idea where we see a good chance of implementation. And the winner is Greenway. Up on stage. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Hey, here it is. Move, move this way.
And we also have an honorable mention. Um, we had another group uh, that took a similar approach to this challenge, also measuring air quality, but with the help of crowdsourcing. And this was a bit of the discussion we had. Uh, the reliable consistency of the bus lines uh, using the buses and the existing infrastructure contra the strengths of crowdsourcing. And we think maybe a combination of uh, Greenway and the other air care team would be a really good, uh, really good idea. So thank you, air care as well. Yeah, you want to say? No? <laughs> Okay, so that was the final winners. And uh, before I, um, uh, I I forgot forget, this is a really green hackathon. And uh, for all of you who knows about food and the energy consumption when you do food, we have quite a lot of foods left. We have uh, bread and we have uh, field milk. I think your foreigners is really fond of, or <laughs> uh, we have uh, milk as well. So if you go where you took the food before. You can take what you want. Um, what? Yeah, okay. And, and, and by saying that, we should also thank our sponsor, Coop, uh, that has sponsored not all of the food, but, but uh, some of the food. <laughs> and uh, we, are really, we are really glad of that, yeah. Uh, so, uh, is there something more that I should say? But Matthias wants to say the last word, or should you want to say as well? Jenny? Um, Matthias wants the last word, so, but you can say. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I was just going to really say a big thank you to you, Christopher and Matthias, for uh, pulling this together. So that's uh, for the and the last last word. Okay, then a bit of a pressure, but I know that the last word must be Christopher then. But uh, before saying that, uh, it's been really, really good. It's been terrible though being in a jury because I've seen you working. Well, not the twenty-four hours. I slept nine hours tonight. <laughs> Uh, but for those of you staying here, all the sweat and maybe not, well, some blood actually, I think, also, and tears doing this, it's terrible having to just present this in three minutes. Of course, it's impossible to do fair work, so maybe the juries haven't been fair to everyone because you did so much more. Uh, however, I learned a lot by going around here, and that's good for us at KTH and the Center for Sustainable Communications, because we all the time try to see how can we use digitalization to improve environment? And this has given us a lot of extra thoughts that we will bring into them. And then finally, this has been, as you know, a cooperation between, between Sveco and, and KTH and Center for Sustainable Communications. Uh, but it's been mainly in the beginning and then maybe at the end here. But the one keeping everything together was, well, the final word had to be Christopher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, I, I just am very short. Uh, that it was when it was a bit technical problems, and next time I maybe should have a te technician and not be the moderator and technician and running all the thing together. So I, maybe I've learned some as well. But this is really I've done quite a lot of uh, or four or five hackathons I've done before. Like I said, data journalist and in Hack for Sweden. But this is the far best I think when it comes to. The <laughs> no, when it comes to the results and this amazing area where we are right now, I think it's an amazing place to be uh, have a hackathon on. And a great thanks for all of you, and hope you enjoyed being here. I, I did as well. So uh, we, you can stay here for maybe half an hour or an, uh, or so. If you ha if there's any beer left, you can do that. But uh, then we will transfer you out the same way you came. <laughs> so big thanks for coming and uh, hopefully we will do this again. <laughs>